Allah Ta'ala in the Qur'an, number and number of maqam, number and number of places has moved our attention towards the Akhirah. How many verses Allah, where do you start, where do you finish? Like in inshallah we'll talk about some. This concept, concept we have, ke mal banao, mal banao, mal banao, mal banao, mal banao, mal banao, make money, make money, make money. Why did you come here? Why did our forefathers come here? They didn't make hijrah for the sake of deen. It wasn't like China, as Maulana mentioned. It wasn't like Mozambique. It wasn't like Spain. And it wasn't like the south of France. Our forefathers came for a maqsad. They came for a purpose. Could you go to England because there you can earn more money. So our forefathers came. Whether you're first, second, third generation, it's all the same maqsad. Because there's greener pastures in England. You will go there, you'll have a better life. Go to England. You'll have more money. You'll be able... Look, this person went to England 10 years ago. Look, Masha, look at his houses, look at his empire. So our forefathers did the same thing. Because maqsad, our aql and intellect revolves around what? Dunya. If you've got money, happiness. Cars, happiness. Woman, happiness. Furniture, happiness. Belongings, happiness. Everything. That's why in our community, our value is based on wealth. MashaAllah, Seth Sahib aaye, ma pandra das das pandra makan vi di robot hai na thora sa. Hazrat MashaAllah. And job, whoever hasn't got nothing, that is the thermometer or that is the litmus test we do. Litmus test. Pase hai, hamdulillah, you okay? Sohyaane bande, ma clever bande, ma boost smart. And here, how much money you got? You got only getting paid 10, 15 grand a year. You haven't got a house. They were goof insane, foolish, stupidity, waste of time. Allah ki qasam, our yaqeen has shifted from that thing which Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa came with. He mentions in a hadith, Allahu Akbar, a beautiful hadith come to mind. Yu'ta bi an'ami ahli dunya min ahli nari yawm al-qiyama, fa yusbagu fi nari sabgha, fa yuqalu lahu, ya ibn Adam, hal ra'ayta khayran qat? Hal marra bika na'imun qat? Fa yakulu la wallahi ya rab. That individual will be brought forth on the day of judgment, who you and I will regard as that individual who has the most ni'mah, the most ni'mah. Not just the two or three cars, not just two or three houses, not the billionaire of our time, the most richest and affluent person that ever lived in the history of insan will be brought forth on the day of Qiyamah. But what? Min ahl nar He will be from the people of Jahannam. Jahannam yoga. Allah Ta'ala will say, Put him in and out of Jahannam. For yusbagu fin nari sabagha. He will be taken and he will, brothers who understand Arabic can understand sabagha. In and out. We say in Urdu, dubki, usko dubki karwao. Just dunk him in and out and then bring him. Allah will say, Ya bin Adam, O son of Adam, listen to me. Hal ra'ayta khayran qat. That one dunk you had, compare that to all of the blessings you had in the dunya. All of your houses, all of your zina. All of your jewels, all of your money, all of your gold, all of your houses, all of your properties, all of your wealth, all of your oil, all of your petrol, everything. And compare it to that one dunk you just had in Jahannam now. Hal ra'ayta khayran qat? Did you have any good in the dunya? Hal marra bika na'imun qat? Did you have any blessing even passed by you in the dunya? He'll say, la wallahi ya rab, by the qasam of you my Allah, mene kui shiza chini deki. I never saw nothing good in the dunya. وَيُؤْتَى بِأَشَدِّ النَّاسِ بُؤْسًا فِي الدُّنْيَا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ Then that person will be brought forth who's from the people of Jannah. And سَبْسِ فَقِيرِ أَفْقَرْ The most needy person. The person who has the most need, most taqaza, most poor. He'll be brought forth. Allah Ta'ala will say, dunk him in Jannah, in paradise. Because بِشَارَةَ He saw some taqlif in the dunya. فَيُسْبَغُ سَبْغَدًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ He'll be brought forth اور اس کو بھی ایسا ڈبکی مار کے باہر لے آئیں گے ڈک بروئی ہم باک آؤ He'll be dunked in جنن and brought back out Then he'll say يا ابن آدم او سن اب آدم هل رأيت شدت قط هل رأيت بؤس قط هل مر بك شدت قط Now you tell me You had a very tough time in the dunya I know, I know میں جانتا ہوں I know You never took سود 
You never took haram. I'm not going to say it wrong because in the Hashi, I mentioned some of these things. You never took haram. You never took the easy option of going towards haram. The quick route, the quick fix. You made sabr. I, 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 Allah, Allah's aware. Allah can see that happening. Allah knows of the choices you have in front of you and Allah knows the decision you make. What, Allah's going to waste that? Do you think Allah's going to waste that choice which you made? You think Allah's not going to reward you for that choice, that conscious choice you made? مَنْ تَرَكَ لِأَجْلِ أَعْطَيْتُهُ فَوْقَ الْمَزِيدِ Allahu Akbar That individual that leaves something, Hadith Qudsi That person who leaves something for my sake أَعْطَيْتُهُ فَوْقَ الْمَزِيدِ I will give him something even better than that thing. Ye kon keh raha hai? Allah. Bhai, mera ka, if I said to Molana, Molana, come with me, we'll do this thing here. Mumkin hai, it might go either way. But Allah has given the guarantee. Your Rabb, my Rabb is giving the guarantee that do this and I guarantee I'll give you something better. And by chance, if Allah Ta'ala doesn't by chance give us that thing in this dunya, Rabbi Zul Jalal ki qasam, what he gave us in the Akhirah is so much more. We will wish he never gave us no ni'mah in dunya. So Allah Ta'ala knew that this dunya is a temporary phase. We're going to pass through this phase. We're going to go through. And in the Quran, Allah Ta'ala talks about those things which you and I are desirous for. Allah Ta'ala talks about Jannah and the streams flowing in Jannah. How there will be fruits in Jannah. Allah Ta'ala talks about the beauty of Jannah. Allah Ta'ala talks about even the women of Jannah. Allah Ta'ala talks about the server, the people that will serve you and I in Jannah. And he's very specific about talking and describing how the women will look, what things will look like. Hadith goes into much, much more detail. Why? Because Allah knew you and I what we want. Allah knew. Allah knew exactly what we wanted. So he's mentioning وَكَوَاعِبَ أَتْرَابَ عُرْبًا أَتْرَابَ Allah Ta'ala is mentioning, if you do good deeds, you will get this. Allah Ta'ala is mentioning, bihi mutashabiha. You will get things which resemble like the fruits in dunya, in name-wise. He knew what we wanted. So Allah Ta'ala knew what we looked for, what we were interested in. So Allah Ta'ala gave that thing in akhirah. You can't drink alcohol in the dunya. You can't drink, have intoxicants in the dunya. But Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned, Inna fil jannah bahrul ma. وَبَحْرُ الْلَبَنْ وَبَحْرُ الْخَمْرِ وَبَحْرُ الْعَصْرِ وَبَحْرُ الْعَصْرِ In Jannah, أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم In Jannah, you make sabr today on alcohol, Allah will give you something better in Akhirah Something better You will have streams flowing of water Water the such that you can never compare to the water of this dunya حتى كي on يوم القيامة When we are fortunate, if we are fortunate to drink from the Hawd of Gawthar Which will only be a replica of what there is in Jannah one sip after that and never until the day, never after that day, you will ever feel thirst again. Streams like this flowing in our Jannah. Streams flowing of pure milk. Streams flowing of pure honey. Streams flowing of pure alcohol. Why? Why? Because he did sabr in dunya. She did sabr in dunya. So Zari Bata in Jannah, you have to have something in return as well. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions لو أن امرأة من نساء الجنة If a woman from the women of paradise were to come into this dunya were to just expose in one day why would just expose a part of their hand into this dunya لا أضاءت ما بينهما The whole entire world east to west will be lit up with just the showing of that one hand. And it will be filled. It will be filled with fragrance and khushbu and itr. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Allah mentioned, you know, and the dubatta on her head. Oh, my beloved sister, my honorable mother. You, if you think you are oppressed, you think you are backwards. Allah describes the beauty of the women in Akhirah in also concealing themselves as well. Propaganda has always been there since day one. Nabi Sallallahu what? Didn't he have anything against him? Didn't somebody say something against him? Didn't someone say, you are Sahir? You are Kadhab? 
you are a liar, you are this. He went through the same thing. Allah Ta'ala knew what we would go through. And that's why the ta'limat of Islam are there. But the woman from dunya who goes in the akhirah, then the woman who has the most beauty, she'll be 70 times more even beautiful than her. The woman who of iman in this dunya. Why? Because you made sabr. You were patient. You obeyed Allah's commands. You decided to make amal on deen and you, would, so you withheld yourself from haram. So Allah Ta'ala is going to give us something akhirah. It mentions that the person lowest jannati, inna adna, ahm, inna adna ahadikum, the lowest of you, maq'adi ahadikum min al-jannah, the lowest stage of a person. Lahu thamanuna alfi khadim, wa thnatani wa sab'una zawjatan, wa tunsabu, tunsabu lahu qubbatan min lu'lu'in wa, yaqu, wa zabarjad wa yaqud kama bayna al-jabiyati ila san'ah. That individual who has the lowest form of ni'mas, he will be fortunate to have 80,000 attendants attending to his needs. Even before you lift a hand, someone will be there to fulfill your needs. When you want to lay back and rest, someone will be there to help you feel, relax and get into comfort. All of your wildest imaginations, or all the things in your wildest imagination will be left in akhirah. Why? Because Allah Ta'ala knew this person's making sabr in the dunya. He didn't fall into drugs. He didn't fall into zina. He didn't fall into alcohol. He didn't fall into haram. He made sabr. And because of that, Allah Ta'ala will give this and say, Bhai, this is a recompense. This is a badla for the sabr which you made in dunya. Allah is going to recompense us in the akhirah. And such houses will be constructed. It mentions one pearl. A house will be so big out of one pearl which will be studded with emeralds and rubies and these wonderful things from Jabia in Sham to Sana'a in Yemen one, how many thousand miles? one house oh bhai, I have to say this in the Quran Allah Ta'ala, I just thought this, this Abir, my heart is coming to me those Hafiz of Quran which we don't give so much that we can afford our prayers afford kar sake. I'll say this now those ulama who are making sabr those huffaz who have memorized Quran don't worry inna fil jannati nahrun yuqalu lahu rayyan Allahu Akbar. Allah Ta'ala has made special intizam for you in the Akhirah. Allah Ta'ala will give specifically maqam in Jannah, place in Jannah. Lahu sab'oona alf bab min dhahabin wa fidda. It will have 70,000 doors of gold and silver. The Sahaba radiallahu anhu said, Ya Rasul, ya, who is that for? We want that as well. We want a piece of that. If I said to you, Mashallah, you see my house here on Paisley Road? 300,000 pound house, bruv. You're going to say, Molana, tell me what a job you do. You know, this is the thing. Youngsters come and they don't say, I, I want to work. I want to do a job of my choice. They say, tell me which is the most money. And we encourage our children the same. We say, If you're going to study, you're going to become a doctor. You're going to become a vakil, engineer. And we need these. The ummah needs these. The man nafi ni kar but we've made this the benchmark and we say, but if we jada, lula, langa, tanga, we just say, Chalo ji, go to Malbi Sahib Bichara, O Tuan Nusi Da Kare. I say, you know, Allah Maaf Mai, that this is what we've reduced the deen down to. Where we've just, what, Allah, astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us, may Allah save us, wallahi, may Allah forgive our shortcomings. But despite that, look at the khair. So, may Hafiz Sahib ke baare mein kaya raha So, what happened was, is that, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying in Rayyan, big, big palaces, one house particularly, 70,000 doors, gold and silver doors, studded, beautiful. Sahaba saying, Ya Rasulullah, tell us, we want it as well. He said, ah, lihami lil Qur'an. This is reserved for Hafiz of Qur'an. Also, we have to say, yaar, may be aapne putre Hafiz bana, to fir yaar, aaj meri am moja on yaar. If I made my son a Hafiz today, I would be having fun as well. Don't make deen miskeen. Don't make deen to be something which we do just on the side. Keep them both the same. Um, look, I know that there's, you can call them two excessive both sides. You have Mr. and Mullah. I say, you know, we've, got, we've divided two categories. But we need to bridge the two. 
بھائی دین میں کامیابی لو ربنا آتنا فی الدنیا حسنا انوسو وفی الاخرت حسنا حیع علی الفلاح